Hello students. Today we will be going over Chapter 2 Prerequisite Skills. We're talking about the number system. So we talked about the natural numbers that start with our counting numbers. One, two, three, and they go on forever. Whole numbers, natural numbers, and zero. So they include zero, one, two, three, and go on forever. Integers, positive and negative numbers. So we have, we include all of the negative numbers and then also the positive numbers. So each of these groups of numbers are getting bigger and bigger. So again, natural numbers are just the counting numbers, one, two, three. Whole numbers include all of the natural numbers plus zero. Integers include positive and negative whole numbers um, plus zero. And it's symbol Z, whole number symbol W. N is your natural numbers. Q is your rational numbers, and they are any numbers that can be written as a fraction. One half, one fourth, negative five eighths. All of these are the rational numbers. Um, so many, and they include all the integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers as well. And then the real number systems um, include like um, pi, um, and they include all the fractions, all the regular numbers as well. So real numbers could be numbers that don't repeat and don't end, um, like pi doesn't repeat and it doesn't end. And there's other ones you could even do like three and three fourths. Um, that is also included in the rational numbers because you can write it as a fraction. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as fractions. This includes non-repeating, non-terminating decimals. Um, so I was wrong about pi. Pi is an irrational number. It doesn't repeat and it doesn't end. So over here, the real numbers could be, this is just the whole real number system. These are irrational numbers. They don't repeat and they don't end, such as pi. Um, I can't think of any other numbers. I think E might be one of them. But anyways, next section, order from least to greatest. So I'm going to do, let's do this one. The least one is the biggest negative. That's negative 10. Then the next least negative, then 0, then 7. So again, pretty simple stuff. The biggest negative, least negative, 0, and then a positive number is going to be on the right of the negative numbers. And you can do the rest of those. Okay. Further on down, we get our graphing symbols here. Greater than or less than are open dots. If it has or equal to, think of it as more ink needed here and here. So more ink is needed here. Okay. Then if the variables on the left side, x is less than or x is less than or equal to, we're going to shade to the left. x is greater than or x is greater than or equal to, shade to the right. And we'll do a couple here. Start with this one. x is less than negative 3. It's an open dot because it's less than. So it's less ink, and it's pointing to the left. So that means we shade everything to the left. Here, 2 is greater than x. We're going to switch that around, and we're going to put the variable on the left side. And we, when we do this, we have to switch the sign. So if it goes from greater than to less than. So x is less than 2. So it's an open dot. Oh, I don't want to put that because that looks or equal to. X is less than 2. Open dot at 2, shaded to the left. And I like to shade the whole number line and make sure you do the arrow there. Okay. Um, we could do one more. I'll let you do that one. Um, y is greater than or equal to 0. We go to 0. It's or equal to, so it's going to be solid. More ink here, more ink here. Greater than means the numbers are going up, so this will be shaded this way. And that's how you do that part. Okay. Okay. 
Now we're going to evaluate a few expressions. We're just going to substitute those in. I will go to this one. x is 4, y is 5, xy. So it's 4 times 5 plus y is 5 over 5 equals order of operations says multiply here, divide there. Okay, make sure you're showing work. Okay. Another one that might be difficult. I don't know if any of these are difficult. Y minus X squared would be negative one squared plus one. Oh, and what was Y? Five. Okay, so it's five minus negative one times negative one is one plus one. Five minus 2 plus 3. There you have it. Okay. Now, here's the product rule. Okay. When multiplying powers with the same base, add the exponents. x times x, each of these has a power of 1 when nothing is written there, so that's x squared. When you have different numbers in front, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. x times x, x squared. So you multiply the numbers in front here, and then add the exponents of the x's. And again, this is for the product. Okay. So we'll do one more. x to the third times 3x squared. With there's nothing there, we put a 1 there. Multiply 1 times 3 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. And that's 3x to the fifth. One more part over here. I'm going to simplify this in um, expressions. 4v minus 2v is 2v. And then I'm going to put the 6 and the 10 together. Watching the sign in front. This is positive. This is positive. And I'm done. Okay. Um, some of them we're going to have to use the... We're going to have to use the distributive property. I'm going to make this a negative 12. So I go negative 7x. Negative 12 times x is negative 12x. And negative 12 times 6 is negative 72. So I get negative 7x minus 84. Okay, you can do the rest of this, students. You rock.